Now, let me clear up some confusion about the conscience here. As I've done all of this, I'm sure that there's, there's wheels spinning here because there's a few different ways in which we can get confused about, well, is this my conscience or what? I don't even know. A few really important things that I must have in this sermon, and a lot of this could be its own message, but I'll just say this quickly. Fear can sound just like the conscience, right? Shame can sound just like the conscience because you're going about your day and then all of a sudden an opinion comes in. An opinion from fear comes in or an opinion from shame comes in. And once again, just like the conscience, most often it's not a welcome voice in your head. But fear can speak and it can feel. It can have that same visceral response, bodily response that you can get from being conscience stricken about something. Shame can do the same thing. And so we need to be very careful when you hear that voice in your head, because we're all a little schizophrenic. When you hear that voice in your head, you do need to do your best to understand, is this my conscience or is this fear talking or is it shame talking? Another way that it's confusing with the conscience is it's like, I don't even know. I don't know if this is my conscience. I don't know what to do. Oh my goodness. Thank you, John, bringing up this morning. This was everybody's disaster during the area when everybody is trying to figure out what to do with their masks. I don't know what the right thing to do is. Is this the right thing to do? Is that the right thing to do? What's most loving? I don't know. Everybody's struggling. I get that. So what we need to do in situations like that is we need to obey what Paul said in Romans 14. He said, each of you ought to be fully convinced as to what you should do. And the only way that you can be fully convinced as to what you should do in your conscience is to gather the information and figure out, okay, God, how can I most love people? And how I most love people might look completely different than the way somebody else loves most people. But this is me. This is my conscience. This is my gifting. This is my personality. This is how God is speaking with image of God through me and this personality and heart and gifting and talents. This is what I know I should do to most love people. That might look different for you. But that's what you need to do when you're confused about conscience. Okay, so I recognize there's confusion about that, but plain and simple truth of the matter is usually there's not confusion. Usually it's, you know, your conscience is saying you need to do this or you should not do that. And you know full well that you need to obey it. And to not obey your conscience in those instances is to sin. James 4, 17. If anyone then knows the good they ought to do and they don't do it, it is sin for them. 